Loose Man. Today's topics are Should we be stricter with our kids? Loose Topic Spinning Wheel is back. Stacy talked about her time in Greece. Would you change your name? And is texting bad for your relationship? And the panel today was Christine Lampard, Colleen Noland, Janet Street Porter, and Stacy Solomon. With guest Gemma Collins. I've quite enjoyed the show today. Um, first of all, they was talking about uh, Stacy's um, Greek adventure with Alison Hammond. <laughs> um, this weekend, obviously, uh, they was doing a competition out in out in Greece. Um, Alison was doing it for um, this morning, and Stacy was doing it for Loose Women. Um, and it looked like they were having a, a, an amazing time. She had literally, it was, um, she had a, a bigger room than Alison. Uh, I think she said it was like three bedrooms, walking wardrobe, the lot. Um, and it's so funny seeing the videos on on Stacey's Insta Instagram story. I love her pictures on there and all her videos and everything. Um, so yeah, they was talking about that. Um, and then afterwards, they uh, want to know whether you would change your name to make yourself feel um, like a new person because of like the past and everything. Um, I wouldn't change my name. Um, don't really see the point really, because it won't change what's happened in the past. So what's why change her name now? Um, Janet wouldn't change her name. Uh, Stacy says she like like the name Janet because she she looks like one. <laughs> um, she does. Um, and then after that it was um, should we be stricter on our kids? Um, which they done a poll on on Twitter or on their website. Um, and I think it was like 82% or something said yes, they would. Um, yes, and I agree, yes, in one way, because kids today do need more discipline. And they need taught, they need to be taught how to respect others. Um, they need to be taught um, how to treat uh their partners, girlfriends, boyfriends, etc., um, and how to how to treat elderly, um, and everything else really. Um, so we need to be strict on the kids. Don't let them go get, get away with everything. Um, and then Gemma Collins come on on the show. Not really that keen on Gemma really. Anyway, um, she's released a book on how to become a diva. Um, well, what role model she is for young children, young kids, young girls. Um, but watching her clips was funny. Um, Gem and R just still going strong, which is good. Um, and she revealed that she, uh, well, she. What was it last week? I think it was. She revealed that she had a sex tape um, to Dan Wooden, um, not with Arge, with someone else. Um, and apparently, um, Janet pulled her up on it because in her book, she said uh, divas shouldn't talk about their sex life. Yet she told Dan she had a sex tape. Um, and now she's saying that. Um, it didn't happen, it was just for fun and everything. To make to make the interview more funny and everything else. 
So, and apparently the book's a bit tongue in cheek, and then apparently you'll enjoy it and everything. I won't be right. I won't be buying it. Um, but and then they were talking about the um, when she went for an interview about a book last week or something. Um, and the person that was doing the interview, she hadn't read the she hadn't read the book or knew nothing about the book, which obviously Gemma wasn't happy about. But apparently she says she didn't get sent the book, and then the publisher said she did. So, that was a bit of a, a strange situation. Um, uh, Nicole Kidman has revealed the secret of her 12-year marriage, were, which is no texting. Um, so, is texting bad for your relationship? I don't think it is. I hate talking on the phone. Um, same as Colleen. Um, and she never answers her house phone either. Um, and Stacy has never had a house phone. Not like living on her own anyway. Because nowadays everyone's got a, f a mobile phone. So what's the point in having a house phone? Um, we've only got a house phone because of the internet. Um, so... We never use it. Um, so, what do you think? Is texting bad for your relationship? Um, and that's Colleen uh, done an impression on um, done an impression of Janet, <laughs> which is funny. Um, and then the last topics were. Um, Janet was spinning a loose woman topic uh, wheel and the first one landed on question mark which is a mystery subject and the question was are you worried about ration off beer and fizzy drinks because of the C2O or whatever it was um, I'm not if it happens it happens can't do nothing about it can we just got a lip of it um, <laughs> the next well landed on celebrity um what would you do if you fancy if you fancy your friend's partner which was um obviously about love island last night about megan and where's and that um but then you can't help who you fancy it's just one of those things isn't it um and then it landed on love um should you should you celebrate a divorce every year? Yeah, I reckon we should. If you're divorced, celebrate it. Celebrate your free freedom. Celebrate you got no one to tell you what to do, when, what to do, what, what time you got to be there, when to do it. Do whatever you want. Um, and then after that, it was landed on kids. Um, when is a toddler too big for a buggy? I think as soon as they start walking, then slowly get rid of the buggy. Um, and uh, but Stacy just say that she does. I think she said when she, when she goes away, her six year old, she always takes a buggy, just in case he he does get tired, and just wants to go to sleep kind of thing. But he doesn't actually like sit in there. He doesn't sit in there like all the time, only when he's tired. Um, and then the last one landed on dilemmas. Um, and it was, should we all be flying the England flag? Yes, yes we should. Um, we should be proud of our country. And what England's done so far. Um, I, I think they got a good chance of winning this year. Um, so yeah, that was today's show. Um, and please don't forget to vote for Loose Women on the TV Choice Awards website um, so that they can be on the shortlist. They really deserve it. So, yeah, go to the website and vote for Loose Women. Thank you for watching, Loose Man.